the first thing to really understand as you rebuild, as you build your Instagram or whatever you're building is to not abdicate your power to these external things. It is a tool. It is a hammer. It is a wrench. It is a tool that you will use to build the house. But the, the, the value is not in the tool. The value is in what is occurring inside of you. Blessings and blessings, beautiful souls. My name is Preston Smiles, and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission is how I got my almost 300,000 person Instagram deactivated and how I've already rebuilt from zero to 5,000 in 24 hours. Boom, let's freaking go. If you are new to the family, new to the vibe, new to the tribe, and you're looking for a place, a place to be held, a place to be loved, a place to extend and expand in a community, I have something called Sanctuary. That is where life coaching and spirituality meets. Make sure you click the link below or in the bio or in the show notes so you can potentially join our family. There's a crew of about a hundred something beautiful souls in there. Uh, and we are committed to knowing each other. This isn't just about content and, you know, filling up on more stuff. It's about being known, like having actual friends who are into the same thing as you. So if you're hearing this and you, you want a place, Sanctuary is that. And I invite you there as soon as possible. It's one of the most affordable things I have in the space. So without further ado, let's jump in. Uh, last week, I went to log into my Instagram and it said that your account is suspended. And then uh, a couple days later, it said that your account is deactivated and banned. Um, now, a little backstory, I've been on Instagram for 13 years. And for 13 years, three times a day, I have poured into that space. I've shared memories of my dad dying to, you know, my wedding to um, the birth of my children and so much more. And so uh, there was a deep sadness, deep sadness, frustration that came up when I found out that my account was taken. Um, and um, I've been in this space and in this work a very long time. And I've said uh, many times on podcasts, I've said to my clients that if I lost everything, I'd be mad for a couple of days and then I would rebuild it because I know how to fish, right? And vegan fish, for those of you who are already offended. Um, but you understand the metaphor, right? You teach a man to, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, you teach a man or a woman or a gender non-binary to fish and you feed them for a lifetime. And I know how to fish. I know how to create. I know how to build. I know how to extend. And what I'm going to be talking about today is some of that. For some of you, you're in a similar position where I don't, maybe your account wasn't taken, but you are on this because you want to understand how to rebuild. You want to understand how to bring people into your world. And uh, I'm going to talk about at least one thing that I've done that went from zero to, you know, four or 5,000 in a day. Um, but before I get into that, I, I want to remind us that these platforms, the stuff that we put on these platforms doesn't belong to us. And uh, let my story be a sobering reminder that um, these are tools that we use to reach humanity. These are tools that we use to support people. And yet they are living inside of a company. They are living inside of a company that has their own rules and sometimes their own algorithms and things shift and change. And um, to give you a little more backstory, some of you are saying, but why? Why was your account taken? Well, they said that it was copyright infringement. Um, they said that they warned me three times and uh, over 13 years and that now they're taking my account. And I've appealed and fought back and had people try to support and... Um, at this point, I'm just surrendering and trusting the process. 
I can feel uh, something bigger moving ahead. And uh, as much as it hurts and pains me not to have the sequence of how my stories were put up and the transformation that has occurred over 13 years, uh, life is good and beautiful. I'm still healthy. My kids are still healthy. You know, my bank account is healthy. I, I, I have set myself up for things like this. Like if they occur, I'm still good. And um, I have been teaching for many years that there's only two games we're ever playing. One is the outside-in game, which states that uh, likes, cars, uh, status, uh, how big your booty is, what your skin looks like, uh, how your boyfriend's treating you, dictates whether you're happy or not. And the other game is the inside-out game, which essentially states I am perfect, whole, and complete but not finished. I am a unique emanation of the Most High sent here to reflect and reveal God's love, Spirit's love, Jesus' love, Buddha's love, Allah's love in only the way that I can. And for me, that is true power. That's true freedom, right? In my tagline, I say, my name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out, regardless of their external circumstances. Well, my external circumstances changed, and yet I'm still free because I've been practicing something. So uh, the first thing to really understand as you rebuild, as you build your Instagram or whatever you're building, is to not abdicate your power to these external things. It is a tool. It is a hammer. It is a wrench. It is a tool that you will use to build the house, but the, the, the value is not in the tool. The value is in what is occurring inside of you, right? The apple is beautiful, but the, the, the value is not in, in, in the apple. It's in the tree that can create it. It's in the soil that holds it. It's in the, the universal intelligence that can birth any of that. Whew. So, as you build your Instagram or whatever you're building, remember that the value is in you, not in them. The value lies within. And so the subtle energetics, right? Because there are outer laws of manifestation and then there are inner laws of manifestation. And so the inner laws are just as important, if not more important than the outer. And so inner wise, you have to recalibrate yourself to remembering who and what you are and what you came here to do. I came here to serve. So I'm gonna serve no matter what. I'm gonna serve in the bathroom at a restaurant and I'm gonna serve on Instagram and I'm gonna serve on podcasts and I'm gonna serve wherever I go because that's my calling. That's what, if you're listening to this, this, it's probably your calling too. So I invite you to remember who you are and remember why you're doing this and not to get caught up in vanity metrics. Yes, it's nice to have many people following you. But remember, it's people on the other side of that. And really, truly, from a business perspective, all you need is a thousand people who really, really get and receive your medicine and you'd be good for the rest of your life. So, the second thing I want you to understand about rebuilding, about building from zero to nothing, uh, uh, zero to something, about rebuilding from zero to something is you don't have to do it by yourself. Once I figured out that I wasn't getting my account back anytime soon, maybe ever, I asked for help. I allowed what I've been and what I've been doing for people over the last 20 years to count. And I asked Right? I've been giving, 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 giving. And now it's time for me to receive, receive, receive. And so I set people up. I set people up to help me by setting up another account, by really getting intentional about what that account says. Right? Some of you, you know, you put stuff like, oh, I, you know, you put your bio and you put like loves coffee and dogs or whatever the case may be. But it, it, it is important that you help people self-select. You help them understand and you help the algorithm understand. So um, number two is 
asking for help. Number three is technically understanding who you're serving and making sure that that's represented in your bio. It's represented in the language that you're using. It's represented in your name. Right now, if you go to my name, it'll say Preston Smiles, and then it'll say Life Coach, right? And in my bio, it'll say something like, I have... I help spiritual types and life coaches free themselves of shame and fear so they can live an abundant life, right? It's very clear who I'm serving, spiritual types and life coaches, right? If you're listening to this, you're probably one of those. And so I'm helping the algorithm. That's number three. Number four, (laughs) number four, this is more of a mindset. And it's technical. Number four is your job is to provide value, to give the gift and walk away. Many of you give the gift, but then you take the gift back or you judge the gift because it needs to be a 10 out of 10 always. But remember, a 10 out of 10 is subjective, right? What you think is not good or, or, oh, this one only got four likes, but this one got 30. So I only do the ones that got 30. But what if the four really hit home for those four people? What if the four like like opened up an entire portal and world for these humans, but you stopped doing the four because you're, you're chasing the 30? So num- num- number four, I'm reminding you to play the long game and to give the gift without attaching to what it needs to look like. Right? That's, that's not on you. Your job is to dispense the gifts. The fruit doesn't belong to the tree. It belongs to the ecosystem. Your fruit doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the rabbits and the, and the, and the squirrels and all the other stuff and the people that are going to come by. The, the, every apple contains an entire orchard. The question is, is how do you get to the seeds? Do you rot to the seeds because you're waiting and getting ready to get ready and overanalyzing and overthinking and over planning? Or do you cut to the core of that apple by being in alignment with the truth of your being and giving your gifts no matter what? So that's number four. Number five is consistency. People are deciding whether they can count on you. The moment my account was shut down, I got hundreds of messages on all the other stuff I was on saying, hey, did you block me? Hey, I can't find your account. They were looking for me. They were looking because for 13 years, I've shown up. Anytime somebody is feeling anything, they know they can come to my page and get uplifted, get reminded, get um, inspired and invigorated with the truth. And so you get to play the long game. Too many of us have have been hooked into this short-term thinking. We're we're, we're constantly busting nuts trying to to get to the thing, right? You get to play the long game. We overestimate what can be done in a month or two and underestimate what could be done in a year or two. You could be consistent for a year or two and set yourself up for the next 20 to 30 years. Because people are deciding whether they can trust, whether this is about popularity and a money grab, or whether you're really here to do this work and give this work. So I hope all of this supported you. I really appreciate your time, your love, your attention. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or on, you know, a podcast or listening to it on the podcast, uh, I just want to say thank you. And uh, if anything, if this blessed you, uh, please share it. Send it to a friend. Um, Comment below if that's possible. And just share it. I think it would be really helpful. Either way, blessings and blessings. Thank you so much for your time, your love, your intention. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you. I love you.